So here's the thing, I believe everyone in IT nowadays needs to learn Linux. It doesn't matter if you are a software developer, a DevOps engineer, a network or sysadmin or on the help desk. Learn how to work with the Linux operating system will tremendously help you in your IT career. Because we are at a point where it's already a very essential requirement for a lot of jobs out there. So if you ever have asked yourself why Linux is so important and why is everybody talking about it, I will give you six reasons in this video why you should learn and get started with Linux. So let's do it. Let me be clear right from the start. Linux is just awesome. And if you haven't already looked into it, it's now time to do it. Because in modern IT, there's no way around Linux anymore. And that's the reason why I create a lot of great Linux tutorials on the channel. And if you really want to dive deep into managing your own Linux servers or deploy your applications or educate yourself in IT, then make sure you're liking this video and also subscribe to the channel. If you're planning to jump in IT or you maybe are already working on the help desk but you haven't touched Linux before, you probably already know that Windows is the most commonly used operating system for many, many people. And yeah, you maybe have heard about Linux before, but you're still wondering why is everybody talking about it? Why is it so important when most people are still running Windows? And yeah, you may be right. So Microsoft is a very important player in the IT industry and Windows is the most commonly used operating system on the desktop. And it's not going to change anytime soon. But if you're looking for any advanced jobs in the IT industry, for example, a DevOps engineer, a cloud engineer, or any system administrator or network administrator jobs, you will see that most of these job titles will require good Linux skills. And that alone is probably the best reason why you should get started with it and why you should learn about it if you want to build a successful IT career. But let's also dive a bit deeper into the Linux world and really understand why are these companies requiring Linux skills. So first of all, it's free and open source. So that means everyone can just look at the source code and it doesn't cost anything. It doesn't matter on how many servers or devices you're using it. And this alone is awesome. But it also means so much more because it opens up the operating system for anyone. And there are many free communities and developers as well as large organizations who are contributing to the Linux project and consistently developing new software and applications for it. Because anyone can contribute to this project, Linux is existing in many different flavors. Because when we talk about Linux, we actually just mean the kernel, the core operating system and any additional software packages, for example, the desktop environment or even system applications can be added on top of it. These software collections based on the Linux kernel and these additional software packages are called distributions. And that is usually the way how you can get a Linux system. So you pick a distribution that comes with a Linux kernel and your favorite applications and software packages you want to install, then just download it and install it. There are hundreds of different Linux distributions existing nowadays. Some may be good for gaming, some other ones may be better for tech enthusiasts and also for professional enterprise businesses or cybersecurity. And this makes Linux very, very flexible. The opportunities and possibilities how you could use Linux are endless. You can use all of these different Linux distros and just go and try them out. Or you go and build the entire Linux kernel and all software packages completely yourself. So there are no restrictions or limitations made by anyone how you can use this operating system. And you can imagine this is perfect for IT professionals or tech enthusiasts. You can tinker around with it and really dive deep into very technical topics, for example, software development, or you wanna know how your computer is operating on a very low level. Maybe you wanna build your own home lab server and learn about technology, then go and install Linux on it. If you want to develop software, maybe you want to get started with DevOps engineering and learn about cloud deployments, then just use Linux for that. Or you want to become a hacker and get started with cybersecurity, then go and install a Linux distro like Kali Linux or Parrot. Every topic you step into will open a new rabbit hole for you. There's so much to learn and it's always exciting and so much fun to learn about technology on a Linux operating system. It's also absolutely transparent because you can easily just go and look at the source code of every single file and understand how your computer is working on a very low level. 
This also makes it perfect for system management. For example, when I was working in the IT support division of a cybersecurity company and I needed to support network firewalls that are based on a Linux operating system, I often needed to do troubleshooting of network issues, I needed to do trace and debug logs and look and read a technical documentation. And I can say that for every problem or issue you have with Linux, it's very easy to recap and find documentation online. And if you don't, you can still just go to an online forum or on GitHub and ask the developers. And by the way, because we talk about developers, you can imagine that all these good things make Linux the perfect operating system for developers. Because there are so many great free and open source tools that are existing and available on Linux. And because the community is very large, you can also be sure that there are new developer tools consistently being made by other people. I personally like to use all these free and open source developer tools for network security researching or also software development. And here I absolutely prefer the Windows subsystem for Linux, which is a very small and efficient and well integrated virtual machine running a full Linux operating system inside your normal Windows 10 machine. So when you still want to run Windows because you need it for work or for gaming, you can still do that and deploy Linux in a very small virtual machine or use it on Windows subsystem for Linux. By the way, if you want to know how to really make your Windows subsystem for Linux terminal just awesome with ZSH and the Windows terminal application, then go and check out my video about it. I've put your link in the description down below. And yeah, the reason why software developers need to develop software on Linux is because it's the gold standard for most big server environments. Just like I said, if you want to develop a software that needs to run on a very large cloud environment or on a web environment, you need to do that on a Linux system. Even Microsoft, the company which is developing Windows, is using Linux on their own cloud infrastructure Microsoft Azure. And that alone should tell you the importance of Linux in the server world. So in any reliable large data center environment, you will see a Linux operating system. And this exactly is the reason why every job in IT that has something to do with cloud environments or with large data centers has something to do with Linux. And the companies are using Linux in these environments because it is known for its stability and security. Because Linux was designed with security in mind. So of course this does mean that a Linux server couldn't be hacked or anything like this, right? Especially in modern IT it becomes a very main target for specific hacker groups because most of the servers are running Linux. And yeah, you really need to keep up to date with the latest trends in the industry and really need to do your best to protect your Linux server as well. By the way, if you want to know how to harden a Linux server and want to know the best practices how to protect your Linux server from most common attacks out there, I'm currently preparing a new video that will teach you exactly these skills. So if you want to learn more about this and if you enjoyed this video, then please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content for IT professionals. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I could convince you to try out Linux if you haven't already done it. And if you're already in the Linux world, I hope you could get some useful information as well. So thanks everybody for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day. Take care of yourself and I see you soon. Bye bye.